Hello fellow treasure hunters! There is a new update for the Quest Q30, Q30 Plus and Q60. It solves the problem that sometimes you get a clear signal by a relatively deep target, but it won't show a target ID on the display. In this video I want to show you how you can update your detector. All you need is your fully charged detector, an Android or iOS smartphone with Bluetooth and an internet connection. Let's get into it. At first you have to download the Quest Go app from the App Store or Play Store. Just type Quest Go in the Play or App Store search bar and you will find it. If it's already installed on your phone, check for an update of the app first and download it. Now I have the app installed on my phone, my detector is charged and turned on and Bluetooth is activated on my phone. So we open the app and find ourselves in the menu. If you didn't use the app before, you have to create an account first. If you have trouble with the registration, look into the video description for some tips. Next, we go on the setting button in the bottom right and choose the first option, gears. We want to connect our metal detector, of course, and find ourselves in the device overview. By pressing search, the app shows us all devices nearby. In the list, you can recognize your detector by the name. I use the Q60, so it's the one with the 60 in the beginning. Are you sure you want to connect the gear? Sure. Now the detector and the app are connected. This is also indicated by the Quest Q on the display of your detector. Now we go back two times to get to the settings again. This time we choose the option on the bottom. Gears firmware. The current software version of our detector will be automatically <coughs> detected and we can see mm -hmm, there seems to be an update. Now we press the update button and the update will start. Then we just leave our smartphone and detector alone for a few minutes so the update can finish and the detector will restart itself. And that's it! The detector is now up to date. If you have any questions or problems just write in the comments below. We are happy to help. Have fun with your updated detector!